Welcome to KGXT, Gen X Talks podcast live from Central California. Making plans with the boys. I'm going to hit the town. Yeah, I'm going to make some noise. I'll push past the pain and my wounded pride. Let me know when you're when you're running. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome to another Gen X Talks interview. Now, if you're looking for the podcast, the regular weekly podcast, where my wife beats the shit out of me for about an hour straight, you're in the wrong place. These are part of the interviews. Yeah, I know. We're, we're cranking these things out. Most of them are super interesting. You guys have been sticking around. You've been very helpful with that, giving us feedback on those things. Well, we got another one today. And uh, if you don't like the interviews, you know what? Don't write me an email. I don't want to know. You know what? There's a skip button. You don't have to listen to it. You can turn it off. You don't got to whine. Don't cry about it. Just just do the skip button and move along, okay? Now, for those of you who, who have been very much into the interviews, I got to tell you uh, that this is, this is going to be a fun one. Um, I'm not sure, uh, boy, when you talk about people uh, in, in multi-level marketing, all of a sudden you shut off, you're done, you quit, and it, you Ponzi schemes and pyramid this and Amway that. You, you, so I'm telling you right now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to get some answers. I got some common sense, Generation X. I got some buildup in me where I got to get to the bottom of something here. And I got a couple guests who are going to help me do it. So we're doing it. We're doing a Gen X Talks interview broadcasting 200 feet below occupied California in the KGXT studios right in the Central Valley of California. So, kid, let's bring on our guests. Let's get this party started and see what kind of a what kind of trouble we can get into today. Ladies, welcome to the program. Hey, Jim. Boy, you know, I just, I, I just melt when there's girls. We should have had guys in here. Then I could have yelled and I could have put up my fist and I could have thrown things. But instead, I get all droopy and puppy dog eyed. I just, it's going to be a lot harder than I want it to be. Thanks for ruining my day, ladies. I tell you, you're making my job difficult. <laughs> but everybody's got a job to do, you know. Well, we got Kelly and Victoria. So what I want, ladies, what I need you to do. Um, so that everybody can lay some groundwork uh, and, and you could tell us and you just pretend like you're informing me for the first time. What company are you with and, and what does it, if you're going to give me a 30 second sales pitch on who you are and what you do, how would you tell it to me? Go ahead. So we're switched to American.com and we are, we represent the wellness company. What we're trying to do is just reach as many people as we can because we're in, in an economic war right now, right? We're creating a parallel economy. And uh, SwitchToAmerican.com helps us introduce the wellness company um, to the public. Kelly, do you want to add anything to that? I mean, you pretty much said it in a nutshell. We, we just, we found an amazing USA manufacturer that cares about us, cares about our health, cares about this country and we are just trying to reach as many people as possible to take away from these big box conglomerates right. that don't give a damn about us and just switch where they shop. Well, that's, that was the, the first thing that attracted me to what you guys are doing. The name switch to American.com. Now, right then, no matter who you are in, in America, no matter who you are, or where you're shopping, the first thing that comes to mind is you're going to be able to buy American. All right. Well, that's good. That's a plus. And consequently, when you're buying American, you're not buying from China. You can't be buying from China. Right. And the first conversations you and I had, it was like you were very straightforward. I said, look, it's American products built by American people, put together by American workers and owners are American. It's an American company. All right. Well, right off the bat, I think we're all on the same page. Right. And I think we can all agree that's where we'd all like to be. I mean, let's face it. Anybody who goes to Target or Costco or Walmart, if you could tell them, hey, put on these special glasses and everything in the store that turns green is American made and everything else that turns you know, red is, is foreign, that would be great because then you'd know before you even reach for the product. 
Well, isn't that what your guys' story is? Isn't it all? Isn't it like having those glasses on where everything's American made, so you don't have to worry? Uh, At, yes, a hundred percent. Everything is American made, and it's uh, we have three factories, you know, throughout the United States. Um, what were you going to say, Kelly? No, I go ahead, Victoria. You, uh, you, right. So we have three thought. factories across the United States. One's in Tennessee, one's in Idaho, and one is in Missouri. Um, and so the, the reason why we came up with this, it's a movement. It's uh, we are tired of giving our money to people who hate us. Right. We uh, this is the only company, the uh, family owned private company that can compete at scale with the big guys, the Johnson right. & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, right? Mm -hmm. So, and we're consumer direct, which means whenever we place our order, it comes directly to our door straight from the factory floor. All right, well that's- Right, it's all, be there, is no, there are no middlemen. Right, so there's gotta be savings that goes along with that because you don't have to pay for a brick and mortar store exactly have to drive to okay so one of the first things we did this little little commercial bit for you guys a month or so ago some of the feedback i got was that that this is like an amway or an avon is there any part of this where you're trying to get people to to sell underneath you is is there is there any similarities at all because victoria you told me that you had poured your heart into companies multi-level marketing companies you've invested money before you seemed pretty well versed in what not to do just to just through life experience so tell me a little bit about your history with those companies and how you ended up here and how this is different because that's important to people right right yes i have done several several and what i found with those i was having to buy inventory i was having to keep inventory on hand yeah and then i was having to reach out to friends and family and you know that was the goal or the main idea for these mlms that i was doing i was always spending money and not getting anything in return mm -hmm. and whenever i found the wellness company it's just shopping. We're all customers. We're just customers. We're just switching our dollars from spending at, you know, the Walmarts, the Targets, yeah. and just shopping. I don't hold any inventory. And since we don't see people haven't heard of us, and there's a reason for that. Because we are a private company, we've been designated by the FTC um, as consumer direct, right? Um, that so that thing? means that, that would we, be a good thing, wouldn't it? That's not that's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? That's a great no, thing. It's a great thing. It is. Well, it's a great thing. So not only do we we compete with them, we don't spend money on you know all the marketing and you know the TVs and you right. know our the, the dollars are spent with the members. Right. Okay. And if I could, if I could piggyback on that. So, and you, you brought this up general about how we're, how we do not have middlemen. And so we are not paying for brick and mortar. As you said, we are not paying for advertising. We're not pay, paying for lawsuits. Guess what? This company is a 39 year old company. And in 39 years, we have never paid out one single penny in a product liability lawsuit nor have we ever had a single call to the poison control center. So literally all the, you know, we're not paying spokes models. We're sure. not paying for, you know, right. Right. and so forth. So all of that savings literally is put into the science and the ingredients behind the product. So we can offer amazing products at phenomenal prices. All right. Well, so now just because I am your gifted and talented trained broadcast professional <laughs> host, um, I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate. So you say you've been okay. around 39 years. You started off by telling me you're switched to American.com. Then you tell me you're part of the wellness company. And if you've been around 39 years, I know there's a lot of listeners that are going, well, then how come we haven't heard of you? If you've been around 39 years and you've given us two different names, you got to bring this in a little bit. What is it? Is it a lot of companies that are in one parent company? Or is there just an advertising company that goes along with wellness? You got to break that down a little bit for us because I got to be honest at this particular moment, I'm a dumb mechanic in the middle of the desert. I use $3 words. I don't understand where we're at. So give me, give me a little, little bit on that. Kelly, I'm going to let you take that. 
Okay, so we were known as the wellness company. And as far as why has nobody heard about us, we actually have 2 million people that shop with our company every month. So, but because we don't want to, what we call burn the fields, um, meaning, you know, bl just blast out a website and have people log in and, you know, do their own thing. Um, this company literally is full transparency. So when people get, I don't, I don't know if you want to say annoyed, but they're like, why does somebody have to call me? Why no, can't I just bring, right. bring, yeah. bring all that's, that stuff that's, out that's now? That's why thing. we're here. Yeah. Let's, right. Go ahead. Let's right. just why, get that out there. Let's get yeah. it out, girls. Come on yeah. now. Roll up your sleeves. <laughs> so that's, yeah. So a hundred percent, I totally get that because guess what? Yeah. When somebody first reached out to me, I thought the same thing. I'm like, mm, this sounds gimmicky, but I was open-minded and I thought, okay, I, I'm going to, I'm going to just call or, you know, get on the call. And I'm so glad I did because honestly, like this company is full transparency. We want you to know like what makes our company stand out. And we want you to know all the ins and outs, all the benefits, all the, you know, the, the good sure. stuff, yeah. you know, that way you can make an informed decision, whether this is a good all right. Well, again, I'm again. I'm going to play devil's advocate, and we're talking about and what some people aren't. You know, if they didn't get involved in the process, they haven't heard me talk about it because I've referenced you guys a few times. In fact, the last live stream I did, somebody asked in the middle of my live stream, "How did that switch to American thing turn out?" I gave them the rundown and said, "We're doing an interview." So now there's people that are going to be looking Yay! forward to this. But here's here's the for those of you that don't know, here's what happened. We got together and uh, to do uh, some sort of an ad push for switch to American.com. And it was a big push of buy American, don't buy from China, buy from these, don't buy those. That was all we said. At that time, I hadn't tried a product. I couldn't endorse a product, but you know what I can endorse? I can endorse anybody who says switch to American, yeah. switch to the American, you buy American. I will do that with my eyes closed, and I still will to this day. Right. But what happened was what I didn't know, and this is where we got into a big um, uh, colossal of things that went backwards, was I didn't know that once we sent people there, which we tried to send people to switch to American.com, that there was some sort of a process of, well, put in your phone number, wait for a phone call. Once you get the phone call, call then you guys talk to them for half an hour sometimes people watch a seven minute video then they send you a link and if you get the link in your email then you can go shop literally every person that talked to me about it said why do i have to go through all this i just want to go shopping what was all this other garbage about i don't need they don't need to know my phone number my name my i just want to go shopping now with what you just said you talked about being transparent and you wanted the opportunity to explain what's going on with every customer that comes through the door. You wanted to be able to explain the transparency. And obviously that this method works to some degree. You're a successful company and you've been doing it for a while, but I completely understood our listeners and our viewers going, right. look, man, I, I dig it. Switch to America.com. I'm in. Give me the link. Let me go shopping. I didn't I, I I don't think that people thought they were going to show up at Costco and as they're walking in the front door of Costco, have someone stop them and say, now, before you go in and go shopping, let me tell you all about Costco. Let me let me explain all the ins and outs. And they're like, can you just let me I see the stuff I want. It's right over there. I want to go shopping. I think that that maybe if we would have if I would have known I would have probably tried to explain that a little bit to soften the blow for some people and say, ah, oh, there's a couple hoops you got to jump through. Just do it. Just shut up and do it and get where you want to be. <laughs> you know, well, I, it's I'm, really I'm worth not approach yeah. like that, but tell me now that you, we've all seen this, 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 this bridge too far. Explain <laughs> to me how this fits in with your, with your role model or uh, your business model. I mean, and, and how we get through that or how we right. get past it. Well, um, it's about relationships too. I mean, we, it's a private shopping club and we are different from Costco. This is the last family owned factory in North America. And, you know, since we are consumer direct that, you know, we have, there are so many benefits built into your own little website. Yeah. That if, if we don't walk you through that, you're not going to, you're not going to know. You know, and we want to be able to help you get the, the most, the most benefit from, uh, you know, the wellness company. Yeah, absolutely. And just to piggyback 
off of that, Victoria, um, like Victoria said, this is about relationships. Yeah. So we, every time a, a new person says, absolutely, I'm making the switch, yeah. they become our shopper. So not only do they have the support and backing right. of the shopping club now, itself, <laughs> they, they have us. Yeah. They you know what? Us. Now now that you said that, Kelly, Kelly, the yeah. way you just said that, now you guys got to remember, my mind's always spinning about how to talk to people and how to think about things with what you just right. said. I think in the advertisement I ran for you guys, the promotion, the, the spot, the little sponsorship we did, I think I would have added something like, listen, you're going to get a phone call. You got to go through the phone call. There's, you're going to get a personal shopper. Okay, You're going to get someone who can explain these products to you if you have a question. You don't have to hold it up in the middle of the store and go, can I get some, some help over here on aisle five? Aisle five, I got a question. No, no, no. You got a personal shopper. That's what a the phone personal, calls for. Personal concierge. We That's are, what I should have. If, see, if I'd have known yeah. that angle or I'd have known we were going to run into this this roadblock, I would have thrown something like that. They're like, look, just, just do the phone call because you're going to get a personal shopper that's going to answer all your questions. Go shopping. But if you got something, you got someone you can call directly they'll help yeah. you through it that's you see the more we talk you guys and i you see the right. further we get down this road of yeah. things that we're all understanding because we absolutely just we, we, an unstoppable force hit an unmovable mass <laughs> with our last right. attempt at that so that's and a great see, explanation and the other thing yeah. is you you don't have anything to lose Dude, yeah. you don't you know you just spend a little time with another like-minded person yes right and and you don't have anything to lose well my question is if i actually start going down this road victoria you better be my personal shopper i, I am your personal else. concierge I'm baby not, i'm hanging up <laughs> I'd like to know. If that's what you i'm hanging up i'm going someplace else okay <laughs> you got me you, you got, got me you got me you got <laughs> so, her all right. So if we talk to people about this, it's go to switch to American.com. Fill out your, is that the first thing to do is they fill out a phone number and there you yeah, name and number. It's a, it, it's a data capture. It's our okay. CRM, our, cons, our consumer or customer relation or customer relation management system mm -hmm. is what it is. Um, and, that basically they get a phone call, the, right? and that gives us permission mm -hmm. to get in touch with them. Okay. And then how long does a phone call usually take? If they sign up real quick, how long does it take you to get back to them? Average. And how long does the phone call take before they can move on? The phone call takes uh, 20, 30 minutes, maybe. And, uh, you know, to give them a chance to decide whether or not this is something that they want to do. And to get in touch with them, we are on we are on it like right when we within 24 hours, I would okay. say. Kelly, would you say? I, I was actually going to say. Yeah, I was going to say within 24 hours, mm -hmm. um, they can actually self book if they would like to. Just yeah, they don't, yeah, That's they right. can just get us on the you know on the calendar, and then we call them. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, as far as how long? Yeah, I would say again, 20 or so minutes. But I. We, I leave it up to them as long as I explain everything and they understand. And that's if right. they want to keep on chatting, I mean, like Victoria well, said, yeah. we are like-minded. And, and if somebody wants to stay on a little bit longer yeah. with me, I'm going to let them. Well, that's and the thing. Because, I mean, and right now, we need to be talking to each other. Right. They're Absolutely. trying to silence us and stop yeah. us from from communicating the only the only thing i'm bringing up is there's a lot of people that that are they're going to go along with this just fine once once they hear the explanation once they go through they're going to say okay i got you you know i get what's going right. on with you the phone call you call me back we talk for a little bit some people want to talk longer some people are just going to want to listen to the basics and move along the shopping all right but everybody is going to be a little bit apprehensive because i mean let's face it over the years how many times have we been approached by telemarketers? And that's uh, what it's going to sound like what you right. are to everyone's yeah. untrained ear. You're going to sound like a telemarketer. Mm -hmm. You're going to sound like an Amway salesman or a vacuum cleaner encyclopedias. And you know, you, and you, you just don't want as a, as on a consumer on my end, you don't want to feel like when you get on the phone, someone put their foot in the door and now I can't shut the door and make it go away. <laughs> You know, they set, do that. they set their encyclopedias <laughs> down in my, in my entry, and right now I that. can't shut the door and get rid of them. So there's, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see you doing that. I can see I you doing that. And, 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 I, just, and 
I'm You're pointing gonna, it out. Just that's yeah. all. The, you know, the people that are listening to this interview, they're going to be like, right. I am not sitting through that. But if if you're listening, what you guys are really saying, we're just trying to give you enough information to get you going. It can be short or it can be long. And yeah. then you can right. contact us when you need us. You and know, that's that, that, We want to give them the information so they can make an intelligent, informed decision, whether this makes sense for them or not. And the, the one thing, you know, Victoria said she was with other cons or um, MLMs. Yeah. I just want to make it clear. We are not multi-level marketing. We are Good. consumer direct marketing. There are so many differences. I could literally list you like what, what sets us apart from but MLM. It would be so hard for some people to understand. It's easier. You just say it like you did. It's just different. We don't need to get into that. If you say it, we won't muddy the waters and confuse people. Just let them know you're 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 not a telemarketer. That's not what right, this absolutely. is at all. And and Good. the other thing that um you know you mentioned about shopping and are you know are we going to try to talk people into selling or being under us? No. Um, as a matter of fact, right. It's to us. It's most important to introduce them to the shopping club. They fall in love with the products and they're what Good. happened to me. Just a two second story. Me when too. I first became a shopper, I all I knew was. I was sick of supporting these evil corporations yeah. that don't give a damn about us and are poisoning us. I mm -hmm. wanted to support USA. So I got a big box of products, swapped all my stuff out. And on a, seg a little side note there, you're not, this isn't like a, a, a company where you're buying a, a potion and motion, a lotion potion. <laughs> these, are right, things, right. these are things that we buy every day anyway. So it literally is just switching where you're shopping and buying safe, affordable, effective products that are manufactured in the good old USA. I don't want to run across your yeah. site and have a bottle on one of your pictures that says snake oil. Right yeah. on the side, because if it does, we, we got problems, oils. baby. <laughs> We're here with <laughs> speaking of the oils. <laughs> I do, but I do want to say that there is a business opportunity here. After I tried the products for a couple of weeks, I called the girl that called me, and I said, holy, mm, these products are freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell everybody about them anyway, so I might as well make some money. So only 19% of us that are shoppers mm -hmm also decide that we want to share this with others and right and the company is very generous if you well, decide sure. that you want to do that well but and you don't want to you don't ever want to fault because you as soon as you said that there's people listening to the interview rolling their eyes going oh there it comes there's the pitch right. you're going to work for the company too well what do you think people that shop at target don't also work at target of course they do they need employees to make the business run you need people to do it so you can't you can't just say because someone offers you a business opportunity. Yeah, I noticed you bought three burritos at Taco Bell. Would you like a job? Oh, you're scamming me. No, I offered you a job at Taco Bell. That's all I, right. That's all I did. Right. I get what you're saying, but I, yeah. I want to bring some clarity to that, that it isn't, that it's not Amway. You know, I, that's a really important right. designation for me to make sure that people know that you're not a pyramid scheme. You're not a Ponzi scam. You're not Amway. You're not, no. you're not building, like the, you got to make money by having people under you. In fact, up until the times that I brought this up with you girls, I have never heard you say anything like that to me in any of our conversations ever, not even close. The only reason it ever gets brought up is when I'm bringing it up to make sure that we're not going down that road. So I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys introduced that topic. I'm glad you said it that way about you can call back for a business opportunity. You can shop at Target for a year. And if you want to be a checker, come be a checker, check out, go do it. That's okay. Right. You can become part of what you like if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, and let's face it, everybody today is struggling and, you know, yeah. just to have the opportunity to, I'm not, I'm not saying this lightly to seriously can change your life. Um, not only, you know, business wise, I'm talking about your health, mm -hmm. like these products seriously I mean, I have my own personal story. I think we all do um, what a difference they make. But just knowing that when we introduce this club to, to other people, it's we love we love our shoppers. I mean, yeah. I, I want you to be a shopper. The business opportunity is totally separate. And that's only if you decide well, you want to. And there's, I want to tell you that there's something I can observe from the outside looking in on the on the business side of it. When you go back to companies, multi-level marketing companies, telemarketing companies, and you say you want them, you, you're trying to get people to work there, they take anybody. I mean, they're take, they'll take a thousand people and hope that a hundred stick around and keep selling and That's promoting. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, 
looking at you girls, and this is, uh, you, I have not just met you two. We've had screens where there's a lot of you on here all at once. <laughs> you guys seem to be more picky about who you're who you're allowing in to do the jobs you girls are doing you did not have anybody that i've met isn't some just okay i'm putting in my time let me let me do my thing and get my money no no not one person was doing that now every person that you guys selected and i'm just assuming you guys reject people that would not fit the company it's not like oh anybody can join now you guys got to be a little selective because of who i've seen they don't, you guys just don't have the run of the mill, you know, person who doesn't care and just trying to punch a clock. No, every person I've talked to with you guys has been enthusiastic. Every one of them. It's because we work for ourselves. We work for ourselves and we only, with the, the, we do this because we love it and we believe in it and yeah. the, and the camaraderie. And I mean, there are so many pluses Uh, for me. I'm speaking for myself, Um, but yeah, no, we're here because we want to be. It has there. There's something about it that has enhanced each and every one of our lives. Let me let me just touch on the camaraderie thing. Now I'm gonna. I wish I had a mute button for you two right now because you guys (laughs) gonna start throwing pots and pans at me any second. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I submit some evidence to you about this whole camaraderie thing. We were in a Zoom call, I don't know, about five or six weeks ago, maybe a little longer, and there was like 11 of these women all on the screen. (laughs) And you guys wouldn't shut up. I mean, yeah. for, they're, they're giggling, they're talking, they're laughing, they're sharing stuff. And I, I had to knock on my microphone. I'm yeah. the only guy in the room going, are we going to do this meeting or what? Because you guys <laughs> yeah. are all over the oh, country. Oh, you go, you, you go. bonded. You I know? don't know I'm who's like, in charge here. You want me to wait a little while? You want me to come back? Because you, guys, so be, you guys were having your own meeting. <laughs> I was just on your, like, on your time. I was like, whenever you guys are ready. I do know that you guys have a camaraderie. I will say that for sure, because there there's a bond there with you guys. Yes, you're selling stuff. Yes, you believe in it. Yes, you're trying to make money. And we all have bills to pay. But that right. was unusual to see a sales team, if you call it, that was that close. It really it was since you brought up the camaraderie, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And you know what? You know what, though, General, we don't sell. We're, we're not sales. We people. don't. It's we not a sales thing. We don't have product. Well, we don't I would sell. say, OK, I, I, maybe not that. Maybe maybe I'm referring to it. You're selling the company, the idea. You're selling right. the idea and, of what's going right. on so you can share with people where you're right. at. Maybe maybe that would be a better context for what I'm trying to say. Yeah. yeah no, I just wanted to make it clear, like we are not sales pe- yeah. people. We literally are sharing what we love with other people because it's made a difference in our lives. And it's just right. like if you went to a restaurant and you, you're you like, oh, my God, and you would tell your friends about it. Like, holy, sh- we just found this amazing yeah. new restaurant or a <laughs> movie or whatever. Sure. Yeah, you would you would pass it around because you, you like you it. You would pass it on. And that's what I did. Like, I, I, I fell in love with the products and I'm like, holy, you know what? Like, I'm going to tell everybody about this. Okay, so let's let's move on to a little bit of the product stuff because I want to go on record saying that yeah. I have never, and I was in the automotive industry, so there was, always, there was big companies that made a lot of products. And what typically would happen um, in, in my business, in my industry, is if somebody made a really good can of brake clean and it was like everyone in the industry knew, wow, those guys make the best brake clean. This is just, this is just good stuff. Um they would also make 392 other products. And it's like, okay, not every product you make is going to be the best for me. Quit telling me that every That's, product is number one. That right. guy over there makes really good oil. That company makes really good oil filters. These guys make good gasoline. I get, you know, you, but I, so I understand you guys have a lot of products. I don't know how many of them would fit for me. And I wouldn't go around saying everything is the best there ever was. I would go around saying, find what you like, try things and see what suits you best. Because That's exactly they, right. All the stuff That's you exactly have worked. Right. Now, with that being said, <laughs> some little lawyer ease at the front of this thing, focusing on product. Now, I hadn't, I didn't know about you guys. I, right. okay, I, I get that you've been around 39 years. I've been, I've traveled 56 times around the sun okay i celebrate a birthday each time around i have never heard of you not at all yeah all of a sudden i'm thinking okay well this is a product and we'll see and you guys were nice enough to send me some stuff to to let me look at it Mm -hmm. two things happened all right one 
And I want to tell you, I don't get to be a man of my size and <laughs> stature without eating some steak, without eating some <laughs> beef. I want right. you to know that. I didn't get this big on accident. No, no, it's on purpose. <laughs> and I'm very particular about the meat that I purchase, where I get it from. There's places I hate and will never eat. There's places that are decent. They're all right. And then there's butcher shops that I go to where I know the butcher. I know when he gets his fresh cut in, he cuts them up special for me. And I, I very much enjoy those products that I can get hands on from a guy who knows. You guys sent me. You guys sent me some beef. And I got to tell you, it was about as good as any butcher shop. I would have never thought you could send something in the mail and have it. Just, it just can't happen. Sorry if it's in the mail from transit for a couple of days, the quality goes down a little bit. But what do you expect? Well, I've ordered Omaha steaks. I've ordered some of those and they're OK. They weren't terribly bad. They were all right. Nothing compared to yours. Right. I'm telling okay. you, I put the stuff you sent me up right up at the top of our local butcher, and we're in the Central Valley where there's cows. I mean, this is this yeah. is it's about as fresh as it gets. Yeah. So I don't know the history on where you guys get the beef from or how they're fed or what they. I'm telling you, I will go on record and never hold up a product ever, but I would hold that one up and go, "Nice, this, this rivals anything you've had. This rival, it's you got it. It's going to be up there. If it's not better or equal to, it's right there. You would, right. I would never, you'd never go wrong getting those products from you guys. That's that's my first story. All right, the second one, um, when I Victoria told me one time, she was she was <laughs> she sounded like she was reading from the brochure that I'm sure she's memorized. She says. <laughs> She says, uh, what'd she say? Well, our, our chemicals for cleaning, they're non-toxic and biodegradable. And she goes through this whole big spiel. Yeah. And I remember what I told her. I said, yeah, I was in the automotive industry. Anytime you tell me that some, some cleaning agent doesn't have all the good stuff in it, it's terrible. So don't, just don't, don't tell me that you got this stuff. So you guys sent me some stuff and, um, we just got it. Uh, we just opened it up. My wife, you know, Mary had just opened it up on the, on the kitchen Island there and is going through it. And I'm, I'm just waiting to hear what's there. I don't, you know, she's going through it with big eyes, like it's Christmas time. And, uh, and she's telling me this and this and this. And I said, yeah, okay, well, I guess, and I'm thinking I'll go outside and try it on some greasy products that I've got from my, I got stuff in the garage, some things I got out there. And before we even did anything, it just happened to be on a day we have um, house cleaners that come by for, to help my wife out every now and then and she's been doing this with her because she got nine girls they come out and they just do the whole house Ooh. and she goes oh look at she goes i know what products you have and i said what do you mean and she goes well that's she reaches into her bag of stuff and pulls out big versions of what you sent and i went no way how do you know she goes been used i've been cleaning houses 27 years been using it my whole life i said you got to be kidding me i before I didn't know anybody <laughs> that had even heard of your guys' stuff. Now, all of a sudden, someone's in my house who's got who's been using the product on my house this whole time. I didn't even know it. Wow. And she goes, this is good. She stopped everything she was doing. And you're okay. talking about a woman who's been cleaning houses for 27 years and has a loyal clientele beyond compare. And when I, let, me, let me tell you the story on what I mean by how good she is at her job. She has a key ring that holds about 37 keys. And she showed it to me one day. I said, what are you valet parking? <laughs> what is that? And she <laughs> said, uh, these are all the customers houses. When they're gone, I have a key to get in their house and I clean it while they're gone. That's how trustworthy she is. That's mm -hmm. one. And the fact that she's been doing this for 27 years with your products, she, yeah. it, it, what does that tell you? She's she has captured the hearts and minds of people that trust her with the keys to their house yeah. and their alarm codes and the products, the people that she uses and the products she uses. They can't be anything less than top notch. They can't be yeah, not for right. what she's doing or she wouldn't be doing it for this long. She'd lose money. She'd lose profit margin. She, you know, she taught she told me right there. She goes, well, if you get this, you dilute it to that because this is really strong. <laughs> <She's giving laughs> That's us right. She's given us lectures on how all this stuff works. And when she left, my wife has got this stupid smirk on her face. Like, well, I told you so. I told you. <laughs> I, I, I told you. You didn't want to listen. You said they weren't going to be good because they don't have these weird chemicals that you're, you you told me. And she says, and, and God put right in front of you a 27-year veteran of this product. And I said, all right, 
quit gloating. Exactly. <laughs> it was in general. Divine. It was yeah. divine. Uh, let, and the let me, one thing is oh. we have a 96% retention rate. Yeah, she and, for sure wasn't trading anytime soon to anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, the other thing, if I could mention, I think th this blew me away. There was a 20 year study done that showed that using traditional cleaning products, even once a week, do as much damage to your lung capacity as a pack a day smoker. Wow. I mean, that is mind blowing. Yeah. So, yeah. And just the fact that she she cares about her health, obviously, but she cares about the health of her clients by using these products. Well, like, I want to tell you a story. Phenomenal. And Victoria heard part of the story. And I'm not trying to make you cry, sweetheart, but you heard part of the story before. Oh, and this, I did. this will tie into a little bit of something. Yeah. Um, 10 years ago, a little over 10 years ago, my wife was diagnosed with leukemia and given three months to live. And she went through all the treatments and it was very bad. It was very hard, but she obviously she lived and it's 10 years later and she's we're doing well. But during the process of this, I'm asking all the dumb mechanic questions. I'm going, how did this happen? What causes leukemia? What what is leukemia? And, and the oncologist was a little Vietnamese guy that was the, the most the most humble and nicest guy I'd ever met in my life. And he ex he sat down and explained everything to me. He said, leukemia is all of your blood uh, being saturated at different degrees of saturation. But it's all of your blood, all of your bones. Everything is cancer right now. It's, it's the whole thing. I said, okay, I get a blood cancer. I got you. And I said, how did this happen? And he goes, here's the trick. Nobody knows. I said, well, you, you have to know what caused it. He goes, let me explain it to you this way. And this is where I'm going to tie into your products. Mm -hmm. He said this. He, he told me, he says, everybody has in their body cells that can become cancerous. Right. They can. They just Everybody's got them and you can turn cancerous. He said, and he used the term like flowering or blossoming. He goes, um, there's times when those cells are more receptive to becoming cancerous and then they you go through cycles and they're not as much and then there's times when they're kind of uh, extra susceptible and then they go back to being he says all the time they can become cancerous but there's times when they're really susceptible now the problem is nobody knows what triggers cancer and every person's different he goes let's just say your wife was was ready uh, her body was going to become cancerous uh, with the use of Windex, let's say Windex, yeah. says, maybe there's a chemical in Windex that for her body at her time, she can use Windex for 20 years, never have it happen. But what if she uses the Windex on the one day those cells are most receptive and she gets cancer? Now, we're never going to know it was the Windex because yeah. you don't know what day they're more susceptible and you don't know what product is doing it. You could be at a McDonald's. Everything has a cancer warning on it. Now, everything, because any chemical and any plastic or any cleaner, everything can potentially do this. I said, so there's, there's no way to even protect yourself from everything. He goes, no. However, the, the same products you're selling are is is almost the identical list of what he gave us and said these are the things that you inhale and exhale while you're cleaning working and doing he goes you want to reduce reduce the risk of someone else getting it of someone else having something in their life right at the moment they could become cancer victims use as many of these type of products as you can and you reduce all that risk. Now you can't do yeah. it for everything. There's plastic in your car. You know, there's there's fumes at a gas pump. Of course, you can't do everything. But every everything he said about the non-toxic, the evasive chemicals, and the description of everything he gave me is everything you sell. Yes. Back then. It is. But why would, and if, if you know that, why wouldn't you just, if you're going to buy some stuff, why wouldn't you just load up on yours just on the off chance you're not going to get cancer from it? Why wouldn't you do that? It's If they're a better product, they're made in America, and oh, by the way, there's no chance that these things are going to give you cancer. Are going to make you sick. It? And see, yeah. whenever, you, whenever you look at it, they make these products, and I'm talking about Johnson and Johnson, yeah. the WalMarts and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Johnson and Johnson, Procter and Gamble, they make these products that make us sick to make us sick, mm -hmm. because they also make 
the you know the pill the cure <laughs> for the yeah they they create the the uh, problem and yeah. the cure. Yep, they make money on the front end and the back end. Yeah. We're talking BlackRock, Vanguard, yeah. State Street. There's a lot of those stories out there that have, you know, and they don't they don't come to light unless they get sued and lose, which is rare, but it does happen. And you do get to take a peek behind the curtain on how some of that stuff works. I'm with you on that completely. Right. So yeah. I just wanted you to know there's a couple stories that is so weird or divine or miraculous how, how weird after we got to know each other and I'm starting to understand what you guys are doing and selling on a product by product level, then oh, yeah. how they fit. I didn't have any idea how they fit life around me, you know, from the cleaning yeah. lady to uh, helping to prevent getting sick. I had no idea these were all things that are that are resolved in one place and I'm buying American. I had no idea. I got to tell you that. Yeah. So and it's welcome way, to our world. Yeah, it's <laughs> way, more, it's way more than cleaning. We we've got laundry. We've got the yes. most phenomenal vitamins and supplements, personal care, hair care, skin care, cosmetics, medicine cabinet, essential oils. I mean, we we've got we've got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna tell you, you don't uh, don't send me any Andy. of your cosmetic stuff. I'm <laughs> I'm happy with my eyeliner. You know, I don't mean to. I'm just not gonna switch. Just gonna leave but it's the it. best eyeliner. I'm it's sorry. The best. I'm, I, I, I stick with what works. <laughs> May, we'll we'll leave we'll leave the eyeliner to Mary. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You can send her that stuff. We'll just take her recommendation. Um, so go. that's the that's the thing is that I just want to I needed to break it down with you girls on exactly what you did, what the business model was like, what the company was like. It's not multi-level marketing. It's not Amway. And and right. then there is I try to I'm going to try to get across to people. There is a little bit of a curve in the beginning where you're explaining I'd like to be your personal shopper. I'd like to guide you through some stuff. That can be a short conversation or a long one. All depends on them. But I think the end result is worth it if you can get to the point of, of now they have understanding when they begin right. shopping. What a great start. What a great yeah. start if you can get people to get to that point. So right. that's what right. we're going to try to do. Right. And there's no, there's no long-term commitment. It's literally a month-by-month -month decision if you want to keep on shopping with us. Um, like Victoria said, 96% retention rate. If you order this month, 96% of us order the next month. Um, <laughs> and there's, people, there's people that will pay $110 a year to be a Costco member, and they don't right. even go. They don't even shop, you know, no. they just, they just got the membership. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And our membership is really inexpensive. In fact, we have like a little special going on right now, but it's only, it's only 19 a year, a wow. year, but <laughs> we do have a special going on until the end of the month where you can try it for $1. Well, I'll tell you what, membership. let's get something else out of the way. Okay. How much are you girls paying me to do this interview? Zero. Zero, nothing, no Zero. trade, not a Thank dollar, you so much. <laughs> nothing at all. There's nobody can say, well, he's getting paid to say, no, he's I'm not. not getting paid. Not at all. <laughs> Don't be he's so gleeful. Thank God. He just, he just he he loves wanted, Victoria and he, he loves our products. On that. <laughs> <laughs> he, says, he says, you're not getting paid. <laughs> you're a little bit too happy with that one, Victoria. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, listen, how does, so tell me again, just give the, how do people reach you directly if they want to get started and they're listening right now, they got a pen in their hand and a piece of paper. What do they write down? Switch the number to American.com. Just switch, switch to, to American.com. The number two, number two, American.com. That's right. all that sure you need to get started. Make sure it's American. You got to have that N at the end. Not switch to America. No, no, no. no. Switch, no. switch to American. American. And the two is the number two. Switch to American.com. All right. Yeah. When we post this, we will go ahead and put that link in the description. People can go there at their leisure. They can give you a call. Anybody who goes there, you might want to mention that you heard them on the interview. You heard them with Gen X Talks. That way they they can smile a little bit and know that uh, they're getting some return for their money, which which was zero today. <laughs> <No money. laughs> We're getting a now. <laughs> which <Well>. is zero. <laughs> Oh wait, I, I have I have trouble on well, do like the double zero because I don't care how many zeros you put up, it's always gonna be zero. <laughs> put a lot of them up there. <laughs> well, we, I can't we, tell we you, you 
what a great interview it's been to kind of kind of cover we had to break down somehow all this went before let everybody know where it's at now kind of and give you an opportunity for you guys to speak on what happened so it doesn't look like you're putting up roadblocks for no particular reason at all and everything right. makes sense everything's in a certain order in a certain place for a reason and you can make the best of it or the worst of it if you want to drag things out you can but if you want to get to the point these ladies are here to help you you just got to do the switch to american.com give it a shot and see what happens happens ladies you can say goodbye and we can call it a day and we'll go back to me and i'll kick you guys out of the room where i can get out of here <laughs> thank you so much bye guys thanks for yeah. having us thanks so much general we really appreciate you oh, god, my god bless america and Absolutely. god bless you all right guys so briggs kick him out let me get back to my part of this thing bye there he goes. So now you guys had, you guys asked what the story was about. You guys asked how that thing was working, playing its way through. It had some ups and downs in there, but I'm telling you, I absolutely fell in love with Victoria from the beginning of these conversations. We've had many talks ourselves to try to figure out what went wrong and how people were getting confused on stuff. I got to tell you, we didn't talk this through in the beginning to see what we needed to say to let everybody know. I think this more than makes up for that now. For those of you that listen, and I'll keep talking about it, letting you guys go to go check it out. It wasn't a super long interview. We're about 45 minutes. But then again, it's important to get these things out there. It's also important to talk about companies that are are not telemarketers that are not multi-level marketing schemes and that's what these ladies represent the things that you like about that not the things you don't like so listen i got to get out of here there's your deal we'll put the links in the description below you guys can check it out as usual leave a comment let me know what you think this was an interview it was not the weekly podcast my wife beats me up for an hour no 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 no, no. that'll come friday every friday morning it drops so i gotta say goodbye from the kgxt studios i gotta say goodbye from gen x talks but remember two things wherever you go there you are and i'll catch you guys on the flip side oh.